Today, we're going to make this stand for a piece of artwork. Stay with me. Now, the piece of artwork that we're going to be making is pretty heavy. So that means that the lid that we're going to be putting on it, we're going to have to screw this one in. This thing is going to be 16 inches square. I hope. We're going to make it the, pretty much the same way as this one but we're going to be putting some reinforced framework on it. I'm just going to rip this in half. We're going to use this for the framework, top and bottom. I've set my, uh, I've set my fence, my ripping fence of 2 and 5 eighths inch. The inside dimension of this is going to be exactly this width, which is 15 and an eighth. This is one of my favorite jigs. It took nothing to make. I literally took a piece of wood and screwed it at 90 degree angles, other pieces of wood. And that way I'm going to be able to clamp that here at whatever length I need. And what I'm going to be doing is measuring out 15 and a quarter inches, clamping this down, and that way every piece I cut is going to be exactly the length that I want it to be. So I'm going to put my tape measure up against the blade and I'm going to slide this down until I get to 15 and an eighth. Which is right there. I'm going to loosely clamp it on, and then I'm going to put my blade on there. And right now that's reading it. There I go, 15 and an eighth is right there. I'm going to cut from one side. Like that. I'm gonna hold it down here. You only get to do this once. Right there. That looks pretty good. So I'll give you a really good view of that. I'm really not. 100% sure what I'm doing here, but I'm going to try. What I want to do with these is I want to make a, a, a square just like that. What I really want to do is I want to drill pilot holes because when you're splitting, cut, drilling into the end of the woods, you don't want to uh, split the wood. comes the rain. So let's square these up again. Okay, here we go. All right. You with me? Good. Glad. Need another coffee. Once we have this square assembled, So once I have this big set up here, I can clamp this down. If it looks like I'm taking too much time on this, because I really want it to be perfect. We don't put the time in here. And we mess up one, especially the first one, then it's always going to be messed up. Let's unclamp it and see what we get. So my second piece is going to go here. Like so. What I want to do is I want to screw there. I also want to do another one here and then there. Because the next one's going to go here. What we're thinking about that, this is going to support the weight of the top. Got to make another set for the bottom. 
because once we start getting a couple of pieces on here, we won't be able to get inside. So here we go. Let's make some more. Okay, we've got the, uh, the sides here. Try and line this up as best as we can, right? We know that this one's going to go there. On the bottom. On the bottom. I don't care how much of a gap is here. I don't want this to come further down because it's not going to sit quite right. I kind of want it around there somewhere. Let's put a screw in there. Once I can get a screw in there, then everything else should be alright. Kind of messed it up, eh? This is where I want to start gluing things together. And when, if I'm going to do that right, I want to make sure that I'm using the sides that's going to look the best. Like that, it looks pretty good. Yeah, that's okay. Kind of okay. We're gonna glue that. This way I think it's gonna work best. that's lined up, then I can adjust this and get this gap right. I'm going to make this easier. I can clamp something or screw something down. Clamp or screw won't matter uh, as long as it's thick enough. Now this piece of wood here, what that's going to give me something that I can actually press everything against and I know it's going to be square, flat, and true. I'm 
using Gorilla Glue, as if that matters. Wood glue is wood glue, kind of. Um, all the wood glues are made for different kinds of things. For now, I'm just going to put a bead of wood glue. If I would have had any other brand, that is what I would have used. here and this is over there. I'm not afraid of this kind of stuff because in the end I can always shim it. Okay, so we wipe down the glue, get the glue off, the excess glue, and that'll look just that'll look just fine. And then we'll be ready to do the next one. And the next one, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Oh, we're going to. There's only one way to do it, and that's to, that's to glue both of them at the same time. job you know it we got to fill this in so now we got to measure the inside I want the inside because I don't want a butt showing on the outside okay now we're gonna see if this will actually go in where we want it to go yeah we're going to put some glue in there. Glue is going to hold it perfectly well because it's the top. So not too concerned about that. I'm going to throw some on there. So, 
I've uh, cut some shims out of galvanized metal because they will tend to uh, stain the least amount. And I'm setting them in there. Putting them too thick on each side. So hopefully that's going to be enough to make up the difference. I left my saw set up just for this reason. And this one, I don't care if it sits low or high or whatever. Okay, so that is okay. Now we're gonna measure. We're gonna start ripping some uh, of the base of the pin clip. This is what we're going to use. I think it's going to look pretty sharp. Yeah, I think so. Right, the bottom can stay square. That's okay. And I went with these ones. They got kind of a square look to it. And it's actually going to turn out good. So we're going to make a few cuts with that. So when it comes to cutting 45s, there's a lot of ways that uh, you can try and do it this way, and sometimes that's recommended. But I'll be honest with you, if I've got any kind of width here, I would much prefer to cut it on a 45 this way. Because it's a lot easier to hold this rigid and tight, and then when the blade comes down, there's no missing. So that is a nice angle. I really only got one shot with this. So don't mess it up. Yep, I think that's going to be just fine. Just putting these here so I give myself something I can, I can work with. Something flat. couple brad nails in here in a place where I'll be able to hide it. There we go. I think he's gonna like that. I'm gonna like that. See that there, can't you? You can see here. Cut this one a bit too short. No amount of wood filler is going to fix that. So it means I have to cut another piece. So that when I put that there, it all comes together a little bit cleaner. going to grab some wood filler and I'm, I'm going to fill in the cracks. And you can see from here I got a little bit of a crack all the way around here. I just want to tighten that up. I'm going to sand it down wherever I have to. Okay. 
may not be the best woodworker, but we do a lot. So go check out my channel. Check out the other videos that we got going. Like it, subscribe, uh, take a look around. There's lots to do. Okay, starting to look good, eh?